don't want to sound rude, but that's what happens when you try and spread your religion onto other people. Well, I'm not here to chat. What can I do to help? Why have you locked yourself in the smithy? My girl, Velena. <laughs> I bring, I bring the pain. From in there, insert joke about finally coming out of the closet. <laughs> oh man, even I, <laughs> I love these games, but even I'm getting a little bit over the dialogue at the moment. Morrigan disapproves. Come on, Morrigan. Stop being so hateful of all the good things that we're doing. We're the hero. The undead ass will become dead ass once again. <laughs> Fireball. There we go. So we've gone from extreme dialogue to extreme combat. You're a Grey Warden, right? Yes. Were you in Ostagar? In the Kokari Wilds? Yes. My husband and son went there to bring the Chant of Light to the Chastened, but I haven't heard from them since. Oh, we found her... We found... Yeah, are you Jetta? I am. You've heard of me? Yes, we found your dead husband and son. Uh, we have... I have something here from your husband. Oh? Oh! His lockbox. Mm. If you're bringing me this, oh no, I'm sorry. Good news. Thank you so much for bringing this to me. It means a lot to make his blessings upon you. I don't want to sound rude, but that's what happens when you try and spread your religion onto other people. <laughs> uh, Caitlin. Dead, what are we going to do? Silence, girl. Do you want the children to hear you? But night is coming. The monsters will return and we sit here and wait for them. We will fight them. No, we must pray and hope for the Maker's compassion. I just hope everything will be all right. So many It'll of be fine. died. All right, what does this person want? Sorry, am I bothering you? I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. Are you okay? Why are you crying? Those, those things dragged my mother away. Okay. I don't know what happened to her, but I hear her screaming all the time, everywhere. <laughs> How terrible, you poor thing. I wish there was something we could do to help. And now my brother Bevan, he, he ran off. I, I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. Well, why would he run off, do you know? He said something about saving mother. He's just a little boy. He doesn't understand she's gone. If he has foolishly run off, then he is no doubt dead. You should get used to that fact. Oh. Nice. Maybe you want to kick her in it. Yeah. Shall we comfort her with lies? If she is to face death, better she face it honestly. I hope he didn't try to go to the castle. Oh, that would be awful. Have you tried looking for your brother? I went to her house. It's by the square. He wasn't there. I searched the rest of the village too. I called and I called, but he never answered. I wonder if he ran off into the woods. I'm so worried. Without me, he has nobody. Oh, okay. Well, don't worry. I will look for him. You will? Yes. Thank you so we much. We are the hero. Please yes. find him. All right. New quest, a missing child. That's what we're setting as active then. Let's go find it. A young woman. Yet yeah, their mother was dragged off. Caitlin doesn't know where to find you. We'll just have to search for Bevan. Let's go outside. Ah, fresh air. It was difficult to breathe within with all that self-righteousness crowding the air. Fish? And something else. Oh, more fish. Walking cops? Do you think it's something in the water? No, I think it's some kind of magical bullshit going on and we'll figure it out. No, Who's this guy? Their numbers just keep growing Tell each night. to maintain watch. I don't want a surprise attack before the sun goes down. Yes, sir. What should we do until then? Pray and hope for a miracle. Well, that's not going to do much. So you're the Grey Warden, are you? Yes, we're here to save I the day. They all died with the king. Well, I'm not here to chat. What can I do to help? We need what little armor and weapons we got repaired, and quickly, or half of us will be fighting without either. 
Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. Why does Owen refuse to talk? That's kind of a bit dickish. His daughter, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids, so he hasn't heard from her since this whole business started. He demanded we attack the castle, break down the gate, and force our way in. I said it was impossible, but he wouldn't listen. Right. He's locked himself in the smithy now. I can't force him to do repairs. He said he'd rather die first. Okay, well, no one else can do these repairs? Not by nightfall, and not well enough that I'd be happy to test it in combat. If there were others, don't you think I'd ask them? All right, well, I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate it. If he doesn't help, he'll die like the rest of us. What good will that do anyone then? Okay, so where is the smithy? Hmm. Oh, that's not going to tell me. Hoping the little blacksmithy, right click, can't unlock. Can we, can we kick the door down? Oh, let's break that open. Mash it! Smash the chest open. Okay, we got some arrows. Very good. Liliana, can you open the door? Go away. Curse you. Leave me in peace. You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. Hey, Kate. Yes, we are here. We are here in Redcliffe. So we went straight from Lothering to the party camp to Redcliffe. Um, we did some of the party dialogue at the party camp. Although that was getting a bit long, so we cut some of it short and have carried on. So yes, we're in Redcliffe and trying to bring them some action and save the day. All right, Mr. Person behind the door. Is this Owen the blacksmith? I need to speak with you. Oh, who is that? What do you want? I've been through enough. Fair not to speak to you through a door. Can I please come in? Mm. All right, all right. Let me undo the locks. All I ask is that you don't make any trouble. I wouldn't do that intentionally. I wouldn't do that intentionally. The same party dialogue, what? of course. What is that smell? <laughs> some. It's like some. someone set a brewery on fire. Somebody's been drinking. So I let you in. You wanted to talk. Now we're talking. Mind telling me who you are? My name is Shade, a Grey Warden helping ban Tegan. A Grey Warden, is it? <laughs> it takes all kinds. Anyhow, my name's Owen, though you might already know that. Care to join me as I get besotted? Or is there something in particular you wanted? Why have you locked yourself in the smithy? My girl, Valena. is one of the Alessa's maids and she's trapped up there in the castle but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead. To be. I don't care what happens to me or the village or anyone. So you're going to in you're going to drink yourself to death? Why not? It's not like we're going to live past the night anyhow. Or are you going to save us? Oh, when you played, he was uh, he was rude because you're an elf. Well, last time I played, I was an elf as well, but I forgot all of this because it was like ten years ago. <laughs> Uh, no one calls me Shade, David. They just call me Pain. <laughs> I bring, I bring the pain. I'm trying to get to the action to bring the pain. So, are we going to save you? Yes. Yes, I am. Is that so? <laughs> yes, it is. Maybe it's the drink talking, but you almost sound like you believe that. I do believe it. It would be the world of good to think maybe someone like you could go in and find her, provided any of us live through the night. What about the militia? They need your help. If you look for Valena, I'll reopen the smithy and make some repairs for the militia. I can do that much. And I will do my best. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damn thing, and I didn't believe him either. You are asking a great deal, you wretched little man. I want to <laughs> promise... Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. Okay, well, I promise I will find her. I'll accept that. For I am mighty. Something to hope for, at least. Oh, lovely. Shall we next begin rescuing kittens from trees? Right then. It seems I have some work to do relighting the forge, and I suppose to find some iron. Hmm, maybe at the mill. Oh, Murdoch just better send his men here as soon as possible 
if I'm gonna get to all these repairs and get them done by nightfall. If you need anything done, well, just let me know. I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. All right, you get to that. Morrigan disapproves that we're helping more people. Come on, Morrigan, where's your softer side? Where's your compassion? Hey, I see you found my hiding place. I stuck some old equipment in there before Murdoch could get his hands on it. Huh, so can we get in there, please? What happens if we... I don't think there's anything you'll need in there. But it's hard to say. I was in a bit of a rush when I filled it up. I mean, the loot. Could the militia use this? Not if I'm going to repair the equipment they have. That stuff is old, anyhow. Yeah, let me open it for you. I have the key. What have you got stashed in here? Hidden trapdoor. Armor. Okay, so some random, random items. Random armor items. Okay, Murdoch, you're good to go. Well, it looks like Owen's finally doing the repairs we need. The damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good enough, I say. I'll send one of my men to inform Bantigan the militia is ready for battle. Excellent. We're not only ready, Murdoch, but we are going to win. I hope you're right. We may just be village folk. But we're going to fight like there's no tomorrow. Still need to speak to Sir Perth. You'll find him and his men at the mill by the bridge to the north. I have a good feeling about... G'day Jay, dropping in to see one of your fave games. Yes, this was a fave by many. I'm running multiple mods, so a whole bunch of texture mods. Um, That's pretty much it, mostly texture mods. There's like a fix pack mod that fixes a lot of the issues. And there's all the little DLCs as well that give you some bonus gear, like this armor that I'm wearing. That's from one of the DLC packs. And I bought the Ultimate Edition, so you get all the DLCs. Um, I can't think off the top of my head, Mayos. Maybe I need to list them. But there's a few few little things, but um, mostly it's graphics related is what I've done. Uh, graphics related and bug fixes. Um, Murdoch. The repairs are underway surprisingly quickly, considering how drunk Owen is. We may just make it. Oh, we gonna make it. How is morale? The men's spirits are high for now. Far better than I expected, to be honest. Since you convinced Owen to start repairs, we're pretty well armed now. Excellent. That is a relief, let me tell you. Overall, I'd say the militia's very ready to fight. Never thought I'd say that, but there you go. Is there anything else? I will be back. I have a good feeling about tonight. Yes, excellent. A um, couple other mods, so at least one other mod that I've put on is one that um, uh, tweaks the arcane warrior a bit so he doesn't have to put the swords away in order to cast spells because I'm playing as an arcane warrior. Um, another one that comes to me is there's more kill moves. So more of the awesome kill moves. There's more of those added as well as more chance of them happening because they just look awesome. All right, so we need to look for this kid, right? Hang on. Aylin's home to the right, this way. This might be where this missing child is, right? We've got to find the missing child. Okay. Oh, someone's hiding in there. Hello, is someone in there? Go away. This isn't your home. This is my home. My home, you hear me? Right. Bevan, is that you? How do you know my name? Spoke to your sister in the Chantry. It, did she tell you to take me back to the Chantry? Don't make me go back there. I hate that place. I hate it. Why do you hate the Chantry so much? Everybody's scared. But they tell me I shouldn't be scared. And they tell me I shouldn't be sad that Mother died. I... I don't want to be sad. I'm brave. I'm going to be a hero. I'm going to fight them off. I no, you're will. not. From in there? No. I just heard you coming, and I guess that's not very brave of me, is it? That's correct. I'll, I'll come out now. Thank you. All right. I came out. You won't hurt me, will you? I'll go back to the Chantry if you really want. Insert joke about finally coming out of the closet. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, first tell me what were you doing in there? I, I can't tell you. It's a secret. Are you sure? Maybe I could help. Could. All right, I guess. I just... Father said I could have his sword when I grew up. It was grandfather's. Yeah, okay. My grandfather was a great dragon slayer. I thought... If I was brave like grandfather, I could use his sword and... Kill the bad people who took mother. Don't you think you're a bit young to fight? No. Well... Maybe... The sword was too heavy for me. I guess I'm not as strong as I thought I was. Hmm. Well, you'll grow up eventually. Don't worry about it. That doesn't help us now. Caitlin says everyone's going to die tonight. Not if I'm here to help, they will not. Really? You must be very brave. Damn. I wish I was like... So where is this sword now? In the chest. In Mother's room. Father gave me a key. But I'm not supposed to give it to anyone. But I could use that sword to help the village. I... I guess you're right. I should help defend the village, shouldn't I? Yes. Father would have if he were here. Yes, he oh. would have. All right. Here's the key. Yes. I hope you use it to kill a lot of those bad people. Oh, I yeah. should... Go back to the Chantry. Good luck. Yes, go back. Get out of the way. Be safe. Give us the key. We have to turn in the quest. Yes, we will have to. So let's check upstairs. If this is a badass sword, that would be cool. Finally, we can hopefully get to use the sword soon. Here we go. Here's the chest. Green blade. That is... Uh, that is pretty good, actually. That That's an upgrade. Yeah. Especially good against uh, beasts. All right. Maybe we'll chuck that on then. Or is it the green blade? Yoink. Okay, read this. Get some experience. Let's get out of here. Oh, man, even I... <laughs> I love these games, but even I'm getting a little bit over the dialogue at the moment. Alright, so... That mission's complete. Go check that he made it back to his sister. And we go up the hill to find the other lookout guy. There we go, they're happy. They're the safe. Him. I can't possibly repay you. About the sword I found in your home. Evan told me about Grandfather's sword. So you have it then? Hmm, it's well, pretty good. I suppose it won't go to waste, at least. That's correct. Perhaps I could pay you something for it. I ha have no idea what it's worth, to be honest. And you found Bevan. I couldn't ask you for money. Well, it's a very valuable sword. Here, take 500 silver. Oh, how generous we are yeah. today, it appears. That's incredibly kind of you. Thank you so much. How can I ever repay you? <laughs> I'll take a kiss from a pretty girl. No, we're not going to say that. Just say, just stay safe, both of you. The maker sent you. I just know it. Thank you again. Morrigan disapproves. Come on, Morrigan. Stop being so hateful of all the good things that we're doing. We're the hero. All right, so we've got to go north up the hill, right? That's where the next, the next guy is. The other lookout dude. Why is there a chest on top of that? How the hell are you supposed to get to that? That that doesn't sound legit. You have to fall down from up there, perhaps. Chest on top of the building. And what's that? That is a house. There are many great tales of lost kings who return to their lands to reign in glory. I am not lost, nor for that matter, a king. And there's nothing glorious about me. You are Merrick's son. You are the rightful king of Ferelden. I am the son of a starstruck maid and an indiscreet man who just happened to be king. <laughs> Look, I can't be king. Some days I have trouble figuring out which boot goes on which foot. Complete fools are made leaders of kingdoms all the time. And you're not a complete fool. What an utter relief. And don't worry about the boots. Kings don't need to dress themselves. That's what advisors are for, isn't it? And starstruck maids, apparently. Check <laughs> out what is in here. Oh, look, another dude with a quest. Yes, what can I do for you? 
I have a letter for you. Ah, that's right. Because one of the mercenary quests I picked up in between streams is um, getting people to uh, commit to this conscription letters or something. Look, I've got a letter from... Got a letter for you from the Blackstone Irregulars. I knew this time would come. I should have listened to my wife. Don't sign that paper, she said. They might pay you a few sovereigns now, but they'll be back. Plus. And they're back. I'll see you on the front lines, I suppose. Letters of conscription. <laughs> yep. What joy. Always listen to the wifey. <laughs> uh, fair enough. Uh, Liliana, can you open this? Can you pick this open? Where are we going? In here. Insufficient okay. skill. And I can't break it open. Oh, the breaking isn't working. Alright, never mind. Let's just go for now. I've got to find this lookout guy up the top of the hill. And I'll do the little side quests in between streams. They aren't particularly interesting. There we go. Sir Perth, that's the one. You're the one I need to speak to. Oh, let's do a proper save. We haven't done one of them for a little while. The Perth. Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Ban Tegan is to see you here. A I'm big armor. I do not quite know how to address you. Is my lord sufficient? Call me Grey Warden, for that's what I am. Grey Warden it is, then. And thank you kindly. I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now, my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes. Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle. Or perhaps I would be dead. Ah, well. With a Grey Warden aiding our defence, perhaps all is not lost. All right, is there anything I can do to help? We have sufficient armour and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Oh, we don't need that. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. All right. Uh, is there anything else? No, nothing comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the Mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need of aid than we are. Yeah, we did that. We did that. All good. All right. Carry on. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. Quest updated. Seek out divine protection. So we're going to go into the Chantry again. Get the knights to be blessed. So therefore, they will fight better and less death will occur. Is that the theory? Sounds like a good theory. We do want everyone to be as protected as they can be. Um, Mother Hannah, that's the one. Let us... You are a stranger amongst us, and a mage, I see. Yet Correct. you still defend our home in its darkest hour. Yes. We are grateful. You, how can you tell that I'm a mage? Do not fear. I am not about to raise a rabble against you. I'm sure your magic will prove valuable before the day is out. Oh, you so wait and see. when you are useful, that is when you are not lynched. Hmm? Hmm. Tis good to know. Allow me to introduce <laughs> myself. I am revered Mother Hannah. Head of this chantry, which for the moment is a place of refuge for these poor villagers. How awful this must be for you all. Is this everyone who's left? All those who cannot defend themselves, yes. They are terrified of tonight's attack, and I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? Well, I'd like your blessing. Uh, no, Sir Perth needs holy protection for the knights. I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. What do you mean? Sir Perth believes that I can protect them against these creatures, a shield only the Maker can provide, and that I withhold this power. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? Morale is a powerful thing, you know. Yeah, it is. Morale's a big deal. You want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense. I will not lie to them like that. But if they think it helps them... I suppose their belief in the Maker's power could inspire them, but it... Yes. Just seem... Very well. If it keeps them alive, I will do what I must. Excellent. I have a number of silver cast holy symbols. Tell Sir Perth that he can have them and that wearing them will confer the Maker's protection. Now please, 
Let me tend to these poor folk. I must do what I can. And I suggest you do the same. Yo, Quartz. Glad to see you online too. Thanks for coming. This is very much dialogue simulator tonight so far, unfortunately. But we're getting this town organized for a big fight. We're going to kick a bunch of undead ass shortly and save the day. Hopefully. What is it you need, child? How safe is the Chantry? It is the sturdiest building in the village. The women, elderly and children will stay here during the battle while the militia and knights protect them. They set up a barricade outside the Chantry to keep monsters from getting inside. If anything gets in, Van Tegan is our only defense. Please, have mercy. Help these people. Do whatever you can. All right, I should go. May the Maker watch over you, child. The undead ass will become dead ass once again. <laughs> Why haven't Mother and Father returned yet? They're... they're gone, dear boy. Oh, no. Gone on a long trip. When will they be back? I miss them. Yep. That's rough. <laughs> Your parents would want that for you. All right, let's carry on outside. Uh, so do we have to go back? We're going to go back up the hill. This is also walking simulator right now. Tell the knights that they're protected. And then I guess we just do something to wait till night time. Defend the village. Then we'll invade the castle. Save the Arl. Save the day. The knights of Red Cliff are ready to fight at your disposal. You said you wanted holy protection. Have you spoken to the revered mother? Has she offered anything? Oh, you remember this village. Excellent. Mother Hannah has some holy amulets. Would those do? Must we do this? The faith that will protect these men must come from their heart, surely. If they are the same as the symbols worn by their priests, well, that would more than suffice. Do you think it would actually help? Of course I do. These are Maker's symbols. What better protection could we ask for? I will send some men to collect the amulets. Please give my regards to Mother Hannah for seeing some sense at last. Is there anything else you need? No, nothing comes to mind. Good. If you have not spoken to the Mayor, Murdoch, you should. We have. The militia is far more in need of aid than we are. Yes, we've done that. Cool. Carry on. As you say, we are prepared to meet the enemy here when they come. Maker, prepare us. We shall be victorious. Yes, we shall. Morrigan approved of that because we were deceiving them. <laughs> Anything in this windmill for us? Just a tiny little crate. Oh, and a love letter. Note between wealthy paramours. as a codex. Collection of embarrassing personal communications. Okay, well... No, I thought that was going to actually lead to a quest, but no. Don't think. Village under siege. Cool. Someone's lost in the castle, so we're not in the castle yet. Looks like a trapdoor somewhere. We'll explore that at a later time. Let's go defend the village. Ah, oh, it's sort of like coming home again, but with more undead. Yes, yes, very lovely. Let us soak in the vista before the massacre begins. Windmill? I took a ride on the sails of a windmill. Didn't turn out well. Yeah, it looks pretty dangerous to catch a ride up on the sails. No, the Maker has blessed us. These amulets will be the key to victory over these dark creatures. Yes, definitely those amulets. All right, Sir Perth. Mother Hannah's amulets have greatly bolstered my men's confidence. Excellent. You can have us with any better than our faith in the Maker. Very good. What is your status? I distributed Mother Hannah's amulets to the other knights. It is encouraging to think the Maker watches over us in our hour of need. Overall, I believe my knights are ready for the coming battle. Morale is high, thanks to you. Cool. Well, I am ready to make my stand here. There is still time before the sun goes down. If you have not yet spoken to Murdoch, or if there is anything you have planned... Nope. We all done all that. We are ready. Let's do it. Finally. <laughs> dun dun dun. Bring on the nightfall. Bring on the monsters. Here we go. They're coming! Get to your positions! Make 
Let's kick their asses. Wow, look at the cloud that they're in. That is some hefty necromancy. It's time, right. men. Know that we fight for the Maker and our half. Right. Oh, he's a. Uh, we can take a couple of these out. Well, what we want to do is get the. Fireball! There we go. Put on combat magic. And slap him. Oh, big fight. Nice, nice. Good moves. Wow, it's pretty clustered. Need to spread out a bit. Okay, let's, let's get this one. There you go. Oh, they don't care about us, apparently. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, we're doing pretty well. Alistair, dude, you need to drink a potion. And we shall continue fighting. Oh, there's heaps of them. Look at them all coming down. Let's, let's try and avoid any knights dying as well. Get some cool kill moves. Show us the kill moves. Boom. All right. This battle for years to come. Was a mighty battle. The are attacking from the lake. They're attacking the barricades. We need help. Knights, stay here and guard the par. Come on, we need to hurry. Oh, so, this way. Let me shoot another big ass fireball at him. Oh, I can't shoot a fireball at them. They're too many friendlies. Pop ourselves up and get to work. Ah, oh, what's this guy? He's pretty special looking. Let's go hit him. To finish doing. Down, 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 down. Oh, level up. Boom, yes. Red Cliff won't fall while I'm around. Oh. Let's turn off combat magic for a second. I want to shoot fireball. Man, there's heaps of them coming out. Maybe I should drink a lesser mana potion. And of course, they're all crowded in here, so I cannot safely, I <laughs> can't safely use my fireball. Well, we can at least shoot this one with a small spell. There we go. I've also already set up all of my team with uh, tactics, so they should automatically be doing most of the things I want them to do. Here's another one. Here's another one. Walking corpse. Get him. Oh, there's a few coming down. That's fireball right about there. And, well, I got one of them at least. <laughs> I love fireballs. Knock this guy down. Ah, chaos. So much chaos. Fight this one. All right. Or oh, let him push past us. That works too. <laughs> I want to fight one directly. <laughs> they keep ignoring me and going straight for Alistair. <laughs> oh shit, we need to do some healing. Alright. Morrigan. <laughs> you need to drink a potion. 
Okay. Liliana, you need to drink a potion. This is a big fight. So we've gone from extreme dialogue to extreme combat. All right, battle oh. is dead. That's so good. Finish him. Okay, now what? We've taken out that horde. Do we go and invade the castle now? Dawn arrives and we survive the night. Okay, cool. We are victorious. <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, yes. And though this victory came at great cost, we must remember none of us would be here were it not for the heroic... It came at no cost. Good folk beside me. No one died. Thank you, good sir. Truly the Maker smiled on us when he sent you here in our darkest hour. Had nothing to do with the Maker. This... <laughs> there will be much to do though, Bantigan. Surely these people deserve some small celebration, don't you think? There yes, is I do. Yet. Let us bow our heads and give honour to those who gave their lives in defence of Redcliffe. Murdoch of Redcliffe, mayor and beloved father, we salute you. You and Murdoch those died. others who have perished here, really? walk with he who is your maker. Long may you know the peace of his love. Uh, okay, so let it be. With the Maker's favour, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your Arl. Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. Yes, let's go now bust into the castle. Waste. Meet me at the mill. We can talk further there. Ooh, do we use the trapdoor that we saw in the mill? So, so the mayor died. I wonder if we can prevent that from happening? So we won the battle? We sure did. If this is what war is like, with so many people hurt and dying, I don't want to think about what fighting the Darkspawn will be like. Van Tegan or Al Eamon will be calling for volunteers soon, won't they? They'll need an army to fight in the south now. I'll go when they call me, I guess. Very good. I'm going to get drunk first, though. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All right, let's go back up to the mill. Inventory space is okay, yep. 